Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. This is Coach Bruce at the Riles Legacy Group. Uh, we've been talking to you uh, this week about why you need life insurance. Now, we shared with you the DIME evaluation, D-I-M-E, where we said that D is for debts, I is for replacement of income, M is for mortgage, and E is for final expenses, or you can use it also for education for kids who are not of age yet to go to college. Now, with that being said, I wanna cover a couple of points and I wrote them down so that we can cover all of them. Number one is, when I first went into the life insurance business in 1994 in Philadelphia, Pennsylvania, over 22 years ago, I had the dream that I was gonna be like Moses and lead some poor people out of their poverty. And specifically, I was talking about Richard Allen Projects in Philadelphia, one of the biggest projects on the East Coast. I thought that if I can get enough people insurance in Richard Allen Projects, that I can march them right out of their poverty. But little did I know that life insurance, you just can't say to someone, oh, uh, let me just give you a million dollars of life insurance. Well, we have to justify that, you see? So on the term application, where they say uh, reason for insurance, I may put, well, final expenses, which may be, you know, fifteen, twenty thousand dollars $20,000, sometimes a lot less than that. Or I may put on there, in addition to that, um, you know, debts. You know, if it's a husband and wife and their debts, like for instance, a debt on his car, on the mortgage, uh, debt on, um, you know, uh, uh, things like a business, then we can have enough money to pay off debts. And then there's the mortgage also, and then of course there's uh, education for the kids. And so it justifies if a person can get, you know, uh, $300,000, $400,000 of life insurance. So, but I wanted to say, there are some people out there who I know have probably bought term insurance from XYZ company, I'm not gonna mention any of them because I do business with more than 10 companies because of the type of people that I come in contact with. And I wanna be able to say yes to everyone, no matter what their health condition, age, and what have you. So, but we have a new policy called term with living benefits. That means that, you know, look at the fact that there are people in your family who have had cancer, who've had a stroke, who've had a heart attack, who've had kidney failure for different reasons. Now, kidney failure can come from not taking your blood pressure medication. It can come from not taking your diabetes medication, so forth and so on. But most term insurance policies do not allow you to take any money out while you're living. The only way the money is distributed is if there's a death. So your family gets the money if you die, but if you're living, you can't do anything with it. Well, knowing that stroke, heart attack, cancer may run in your family, even kidney disease for whatever odd reason, you want to be able to pull some of the money out. Well, I want you to call and ask me about the new term policy that has living benefits where you can pull money out if there's a stroke, heart attack, or cancer. And during that time, you may be working whereas they're paying you 60%, 70% of your income, and you're having a struggle paying your bills because you're in rehabilitation, you're on light duty, whatever it is, you're not earning the same income. So you can take money out of that life insurance policy to help you through that time and still keep the policy in place, okay? So, ask me about that. Now, when my mom died in 1994, mom had $5,000 of life insurance. I kept asking mom what kind of life insurance she had. I kept asking her how much she had. She wouldn't tell me. Well, when mom got multiple myeloma type of cancer, then I was a little more forceful and said, you need to tell me so I can be in place. I can have things in place to cover if you don't have insurance. Well, come to find out she had $5,000 of life insurance and the life insurance that she had, okay, uh, 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 the first two years was limited benefit, first two years. It was a guaranteed issue product. So you gotta be very careful that if you are healthy, you shouldn't have to go with the guaranteed issue product because guaranteed issue means they don't ask any health questions 
and most of the times, 99% of the time, you're going to have to wait two years before the face amount can be paid out. So if it's 10000 you don't get 10000 in the first two years because it's limited benefit first two years. That means they'll give you back all the premiums paid in plus a small percentage. Well, thanks be to God. I asked my mom, I said, when did you get that policy? Well, she got the policy about five years prior to her passing away. Therefore, she was past the two-year limitation, so she had a full $5,000 of coverage. Now, mind you, it didn't pay for the whole funeral, burial, opening and closing the grave. So my brother and I had to chip in a couple thousand dollars, okay? So that was better than having what? A zero. So I tell you, if you have parents or if you are north of 60 years old, you're saying, well, I can't afford 10000 I can't afford $15,000 of whole life insurance. Whole life means it goes your whole life. It's not like term. It doesn't cut off at a certain period of time. If you can only afford 5000 6000 7000 8000 whatever it is, get what you can afford so your family doesn't have to go all the way in their pocket. Maybe a little bit in their pocket, but not all the way if you left them something to work with. Does that make sense? Okay. Uh, I want to cover something else, and that is um, life insurance, last, not least, life insurance is a way to transfer wealth that you can't afford. Most of us don't have $100,000, $200,000 in the bank. But you want to be able to leave that to your kids and your loved ones so that they can get along in your absence without your income, okay, and not have to struggle or move out of the house, okay. I've seen it many, many, many times where as sickness or loss of income had an effect on the family where they had to move out of the house. So life insurance allows you to transfer wealth that you don't have. Look, there's two leading industries in the world, oil and insurance. <laughs> yes, oil and insurance, all right? These two industries lead the way. They can cut the check that you can't cut. So that's why it's important for you to have life insurance. I want you to call me at 770 315-4714 or email me at Group at gmail.com I'm going to talk to you again tomorrow about why you need life insurance.